Hi, yeah. this is Eric Martin with Working Geek. I am here with Heiko Gunther from Two Tomatoes, yeah. looking at Peak Oil, the game you co-designed, also did the graphic design for. And Tiago. And, well, yeah, our work graphic design. True. Yeah. Two separate things. Definitely. You Definitely. full credit here, across the board. I should. Yes. So, maybe you could give an overview of how the game works. Okay. Uh, in this game, you are a mean um, oil corporation, big oil, right? Mm -hmm. So you are the Boyd Energies and Platypus Petroleum, and you are preparing for peak oil. That will be the moment when there's no more oil left in the oil fields around the world um, to sustain our, our corporations. And even as we are, we want to be prepared. Yes. So the oil is, is little barrels in its back. The black barrels are actually oil. Red barrels is bad stuff because because we're evil, public watches us, and if we draw one of these, bad things happen. Okay. And that's yeah. always bad. All right. And when peak oil hits, like all the black barrels are gone from the back, um, then we want to have invested in startup companies like this one. Because we have to use our finances into other businesses, otherwise. Actually, we just these, are, these are free at the, at the beginning of the game. There's, there's no things here, and each of these costs an amount equal to the number of barrels here. Ah. So all of them are free. I mean, they cost money, but for us being big oil, right. this is like peanuts, so they're free. <laughs> but okay. once we start investing in, um, in marketing for technologies that these small startups, the puny humans work in, um, they actually gain value in the eye of the customers. Okay. And when peak oil hits, um, only only what the public thinks of the technologies we invested in will be of any value to us as the okay. companies. So we want to get these and then make people think that they actually are useful when there's okay. no oil left. Which is driven by our own spending, our own use. Correct. Yes. We and, make our own future. Anytime we, we spend on these, we not only put value into our own technologies, because anybody can buy these, okay. and everybody starts with a secret portfolio. So. You might have bought that one and, and spent a whole lot to make it valuable, but I, in secrecy, already invested in that. Okay. So, ah, you did too. Yes. No, you, you didn't. You, you have mm. that one. Oh, okay. You're not that smart. That's a good way to win. win. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I always do. Um, and now we both get points for having invested in that. Okay. And basically the same amount, but we can change that a bit by investing in um, in oil fields as well. Okay. And also we got consultants that help us uh, um, do stuff more efficiently, which is always... Yeah, it's always down here. Those guys up there. I'm going to cut you off the table. Uh, I'm dead. You don't need to <coughs> sit up. They help us do stuff more efficiently. Okay. Uh, and that is really nice for us. And we hope nobody notices that they're helping us. Okay. If people notice, we first get a, um, a short news flash that the oil giant is struggling. Oh, actually, that's level three. That's really bad stuff. Yes. It's just troubling reports. We're not struggling yet. Okay. And later on, we might have, we might be under public scrutiny, and that's really bad for, for us until we get rid of it again. Okay. Of course, we can whitewash and, and do all sorts of oil company things. And the main thing is that we find the oil on the oil fields around the world, take it from the oil. Field. As long as it's here, each barrel is like one trillion of billions of barrels of oil. But then we take it from there into our headquarters. Now it's one trillion of billions of uh, euros or a bit less in, in dollars, probably. Yes. Um, and then we spend it to, to do marketing. And now each of these is one trillion of billions of people that think tile power is a good thing. Okay. Which is good for us if we invested in that. Okay. So let me give an overview of a turn or how, what's going on on the board here. Um, so there's no there's no real rounds. There's one large round. We keep playing all the time until peak oil hits. So one player just starts, and at the start of the game, there's no no agents that, that are these guys on right. the board. They're all back home into in our headquarters and chilling uh, on a tropical island. Okay. Um, so we need to tell them go somewhere, do useful stuff. This guy's not here. Um, and on the turn, you just take two steps. It's always the same. And each step is basically just take an agent and move him somewhere. Yeah. Or her. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's your choice. Yeah. Um, 
and that's your whole turn. So my turn is finished. Now you take your turn. You two guys are here, okay. and you can do exactly the same. Clearly, I'm going to do this. You do yeah. that. Yeah. There's a few twists on where you may place guys and where not, and, and stuff like that. But the interesting part is that by sending them somewhere, you plan ahead for next turn when the ground gets back to you to do what you actually sent them to do. Okay. And you can only do that if you have a majority. So as soon as I send one guy to invest in startups, you will notice, hey, he's, he's, he, he wants to buy one of these. Why don't I send one of my guys to, or even two, so I'm, I'm stronger than him, to hinder him from, do that, from doing that. Maybe my second guy is in Russia doing nothing, so I'm, <laughs> I didn't play very well. Um, and that's, that's basically the main engine. So you always have to plan ahead and you can only, uh, only take actions if you actually have a majority at the start of your own turn. Okay. Or if you are willing to take the risk of a PR disaster when you are tied. And red, red bubbles are bad because they give you PR disasters. And then you do the stuff. You take oil. I, I mean, you drill for oil that, that pops up here. You take it from back, pull it here. And here you... Oh, that, that's what you do here. You expand here, you get more agents from the pool and send them in the Concord to different places to do cool stuff. Okay. Uh, on the oil fields, you actually take the oil that you or somebody else did find for you and yes. send it via those shipping lines to one of the three refineries all around the world, like Philadelphia, Rotterdam and Singapore, and sell them there to turn them into money. And you want the money because you can invest that in startups when they start right. getting more expensive and increase the value of technologies you have already invested in. Okay. And spend on, gray, spend on gray ops. Gray ops allow you to, there's black market, this international black market. You don't want to be seen with these guys, but you trade with them, right. obviously. So they help you making these things even more valuable and you can hire consultants. Okay. And that's so again. All right. Now we know how to play this playroom. There we go. Yeah, Thank you very much. My pleasure. Here we go, Peak Oil, Heco, Kutter. Close enough. Ah. And to be a score one. Yes, yes, yes.